Hacker Mining has come to an end on Satoshi app and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can link your wallet address to place your withdrawal. Step by step guide. All you simply have to do is make sure to pay attention and watch till the end of this video. Now, after opening up your Satoshi app, you go to this me section, just as you can see on my screen here. And here you see a list of your assets. And all you simply have to do is click on the see all button that is displaying here. Then you scroll to locate the token you want to connect the wallet address to. And look at it here, Aka. It's pretty much the same steps, just like the way we've been connecting our wallet addresses for all other projects on Satoshi app. Now you're going to get this link wallet address on this page. And all you simply have to do is click to open it up. And here you have the space to provide your wallet address and your asset password. I'm going to be linking my wallet address from MetaMask. So I'll go ahead and open up my MetaMask right now. So after it opens up, this is how your home page will look like. Now, some people will tell you that what you are linking is your core wallet address, which is absolutely right as long as it's coming from MetaMask. But then it doesn't matter because MetaMask is an EVM compatible wallet. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say, for instance, look at this address on your screen here. Let me click to copy. I have copied that address. And that is the address I'm going to be linking. But it doesn't matter. Whether I copy that address, I copy my core wallet address, I copy my Ethereum wallet address, as long as you are using MetaMask, not Trust Wallet. Now, if I switch network, for instance, let me switch to Linear Main Network to make you understand what I'm talking about. So I got it. All right. Okay. This Linear Main Network is still on Ethereum. So let me add another network. I'm going to be, let me click on this Add Network to see the options I have. So on this page, you can see. Let me add BNB. Since BNB is popular, almost everyone knows BNB. All right, so I've added and I've switched the network. And you can see on this page is my BNB chain. So you can see the address displaying is still the same. Let me go ahead and open up this BNB and make you understand a bit more of what I'm talking about. Now on this page, I'll scroll up and look for the receive button. Look at it here. So as you click to open it, you can see this is the address. It is the same address on my home screen let me click on copy so it doesn't matter whatever address you are copying so don't stress yourself just open up this page copy any address you see as long as it is metamask then you come on this your page here and you paste it in then you put in your asset password for some of you it might be required to do face verification but now after putting in the address i go ahead put in my address then i confirm that this is the address i want to link the next thing now, I'm going to receive a code to my email address. So I'll just go ahead and wait. All right, I think the code should have arrived by now, but I have not received a notification because my phone is on DND. So I'm going to put out my notification and search for it. All right, you can see here is the code displaying on my screen. And I'll commit that code to memory and I'll head back into my Satoshi app right now and paste in the code. Make sure you put in your correct asset password. If not, this won't work. So if you did the steps properly without making any mistake, you're going to get this message that your account will draw address link successfully. So that is just the basic way to go about this. It's a simple tutorial. Make sure to like, comment. If you still have any issues, drop your comment in the comment section of this video. I'm going to respond to all your messages and you can turn on the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a new video then with a the link in the description box join my telegram channel for more updates like this now if you look at my screen it is still showing me to link withdrawal address the reason for this is because the withdrawal time has not closed yet and i heard that it is going to be closing tomorrow so if I click on it, I can still link my address again. The reason for this is because they want you to, if you want to be able to change your address, maybe you linked the wrong address or your address got compromised or for whatever reason, you still be able to change it pending the time they close down the linking of address. So if you're sure you linked your address and you got that message that your address has been linked successfully, all you simply have to do is stick and wait for more updates concerning this airdrop. 